Good Wednesday evening, everybody. Peak of the week from the News Channel 3 home office backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with tonight's edition of Skyblog 3. We're going to be looking at some more cloud cover across much of the area. We're seeing, again, some pretty decent amounts of clouds out there right now, so little, if anything, that's really going to be able to be good news for stargazers tonight. But if you're going to be doing anything outdoors for this evening, you might be able to catch a few glimpses of the sky, and that's what we're going to bring to you here coming up in just a little bit. So despite the cloud cover that looks to be pretty thick. Again, maybe some gaps out there that might help out a little bit to see a few things out there for early this evening. And we'll talk more about that coming up in just a bit. A bit of a solar storm taking place, at least a minor one. Things are settling down at this point. Little of anything really major going on at this time. We did manage to pick up a lot more energy. The yellow spike showing the planetary index of what we were picking up from this kind of hole in the solar corona streaming past the earth giving us a little bit more energy but things are calming down green is a little bit calmer conditions out there the main problem we've got for tonight is going to be the cloud cover visible satellite picture is showing a pretty decent line of clouds over the area with our first rain that we've had in several days and some of those clouds are going to be sticking around notice that not everybody is getting rainfall or cloud cover we are seeing a little bit of rain and clouds but the maximum area right over the mississippi valley some clear clearer skies over parts of west tennessee northern Mississippi and back into eastern parts of and central Arkansas for that matter but unfortunately we've got more moisture on the way water vapor satellite is showing a lot of clouds out there the drier air the orange colors that's dry air being able to be detected by water vapor and that's showing again a lot of clear skies down toward the Gulf ironically where all the moisture is at this point it's going to be right over the area so for tonight around seven o'clock heading out to stargaze Looks like about 30-40% coverage chance of anything involving cloud cover out there. So it's not going to be totally overcast, but it's not going to be totally clear either for this evening. And by 10 o'clock, it looks like it stays about the same, kind of fluctuating a little bit, but not a lot out there. If you are going to stargaze, earlier will be better rather than later because by News Channel 3 daybreak tomorrow morning, a good coverage area in green of some showers, possibly some thunderstorms into tomorrow as well. So we'll be watching for that. Now through this evening, Tiangong 2 will be rising. Earlier, just past about sunset or so, and it should be decently visible, but you may have to squint to see this one because of the fact that it's not going to be entirely bright out there across much of the area, rising in the southwest and heading up toward the mid-sky area, and that'll be fading as it goes into Earth's shadow. So a good opportunity to see that a little bit later on, and we'll post more about the visibility when that comes up on Twitter and Facebook. And if you'd like to know more, go to heavens-above.com. Check out the time frame of when you're going to be able to see this based on what location you plug in. If we do have clear enough skies tonight, Mars visible in the south-southwest and back towards between there and Sagittarius on the right-hand side of your screen, Venus, and back towards Saturn should be very nicely visible in the southwest skies. So again, that's about the major planets out there. Jupiter is on the other side of things, and it will be coming up just before sunrise tomorrow morning, so a good opportunity to see things there. Also, if it's clear enough, you might be able to see a little bit of the torrid meteor shower taking place right now. Not a great deal of meteors at this point. Uh, again, things are starting to kind of fall off by just a little bit, but you should be able to see it least a little bit anyway something you can do at home if it's totally cloudy want to get involved with the kids use your computer to help the scientists at SETI that's the search for extraterrestrial intelligence search for what's going on out there we may have received a signal signal from extraterrestrials already the only thing is we just don't have enough processing power to take care of all the data that SETI collects every day, every week, every year. So if you'd like to put your home computer to use, there's a new program they have called Bionic. It used to be called SETI at Home. This is a little bit different. So if you'd like to use your computer, all you have to do is allow SETI to use your computer and to be able to use it for processing of data out there, searching for patterns and signals of that nature. That's going to be something that you could help out with at, with at home with your computer when it's not doing anything, it's not invasive. It doesn't sell you any advertising. It just uses the background computing power and something you can use to help with the search for extraterrestrial intelligence and see if we are actually alone in the universe. So good opportunity to get your kids involved with that. And if your computer sits around a lot, and especially at work, and you can get your computers to be volunteered for it, good way to help out on something like that. Don't forget to attend the Memphis Astronomical Society. Their meeting coming up this Friday at 8 p.m. I'll be talking about unknown weather sites that you may or may not have used already. 
where it comes to anything involving astronomy and viewing. You need to know a little bit more about what's going on with the weather. So this is a good opportunity to get more data as on what's going on online to help you as an astronomer learn more about how to predict the weather before you go out with that telescope out there. More information, memphisastro.org. It'll be about 8 o'clock, and Rebecca Love will also be talking about the importance of dark skies, making certain that we're able to see a little bit more out there. And if you'd like to know more about this, we'll be posting a lot more on our sky blog this will be posted at wreg.com slash weather and also on our facebook pages and twitter and google plus and everything else so a good opportunity for you to learn more about what's going on there for this evening if you'd like to take a look at that again wreg.com slash weather and on our social media pages which you see listed at the bottom sun is coming out at least a little bit here anyway so we're seeing some hopefully good conditions where we go into viewing for tonight and again hopefully you get a good chance to see some stuff out there sunset pictures anything Anything else like that, send them along. We'd love to see them and pass them along to everybody else. Please do so. You can email me at austin.onic at wreg.com or you can send it to aonic underscore wreg3 on Twitter, Facebook. Well, kind of sort of might work might not it kind of depends on what kind of mood facebook is in so something to think about there so twitter and email would probably be your best bet from the now mostly sunny news channel three backyard i'm meteorologist austin on thanks for joining me for tonight's latest edition of news channel three's video weather video weather blog and astronomy blog at sky blog three and stay tuned for more from news channel three on the complete forecast coming up tonight on news channel three at five six and ten